Hey y'all, I'm Carolina Tony. Today the road brings me to Charleston, South Carolina, and we are going on a carriage tour of historical Charleston. And you get to come with me. In just a few minutes, we'll get loaded up and get on the way. But after this station, identification. Maybe. Yeah. That's all by design. I'm gonna this little bit there. They got a bingo machine, whatever color comes up Okay, this is where you come up and you get the tour that the city gives you. Hello. Oh, it's just like bingo. The ball puffs up. He's he's moving them balls around. All right, y'all. Two B is my super favorite, but two B and two A is also really good too. So either way, we love it. It's about the 1713. That building is 1709. We're amongst the oldest in the city. See those orange rods in that first building behind us? Those are big balls. Also, you see how that steeple leans to the left, about four degrees. Yep. That steeple leans. Green shot of Charleston. Now in 1865. Again, 1860, right there in the center of the Most of the damage you'll see on this thing is three fourths of our workforce. This is the James S. Gibbs Memorial Art Gallery. 21 years later, we've been hit by the worst earthquake in history up until the San Francisco quake in 1903. And they chose this spot because we're on two deep water rivers. By the way, during the Civil War, the 50,000 cannonballs that were fired on Charleston, every one of those 50,000 cannonballs were aimed at the So we are south of Broad Street here. On the average age of a home down the street is 1770. And I'll talk more about that. But the sweet grass baskets here, a very important um, cultural and cottage industry here in Charleston. Originally, the a lot, a lot of restoration going on and construction. So when I mentioned the oldest church in Charleston, today is this is the fifth the oldest War, church in Charleston. All the very few churches living with their iron gates and bells. Your main entrance is right in the center. These homes have no interior rooms or hallways, so you have constant air pool. It's one of only two homes in North America that has a three-story, free-flying spiral staircase with no visible support. It was amazing. It was built by a slave in the early 1800s. So 60 years ago, they figured out... Looks like there is a tour going on at the Nathaniel Russell House. On the left-hand side... So one of the most distinguished ministers here was a guy by the name of Richard Burns. He was from the University. Here is the site of the first Baptist Church in Charleston, 1682. Uh, notice I said first is the first first. The governor of Carolina in the 1720s. In fact, this home was built in the in 1720. It's the oldest home on the street. This is the oldest home on Meeting Street. Was built for the governor. You can see those stabilization bolts on the side of the building to secure the building after the great earthquake. Just about all of them have them. Home of George Williams. So George Williams these fast boats outran the Union blockade. In the movie North and South, this was the home of George Hazard. They portrayed it to be at Lehigh Station, Pennsylvania. It's on Meeting Street, 16 Meeting Street. So if I'm pain, that's the reason. I'm the only one to Now, this is the battery. We call this White Point Gardens, also called the battery. We always had a military presence here, but these guns were never used in combat. They're some extreme miles out. These 
these guns only fire one mile. Notice these beautiful live oak trees here? We used to hang ornaments from these trees. Well, they were pirates, but they dangled like ornaments. And now they're nothing but other pirates. If you're going to hang around Charleston, you're going to hang around Charleston. So then they packed them back, moved down to the dance house, and they became the Buccaneers and won a Super Bowl. <laughs> By the way, I mean, Tom Brady will win a Super Bowl. You're going to hate me for this, but I have to tell him. Put him a Cowboys in the Oh! Now that's the trick. Y'all, one thing about this. You are one plus little fellow. Now, today, the battery is a monument to the Revolutionary War, Civil War, and the Spanish American War, with that all this being of the USS Maine. By the way, the volume of trade is so great. When I make well, you said you can walk from one side of the Cooper River or the other. This wood is very similar to the rebels in North California. Special five wood. We have 300 year old homes made out of that material here. But for those of you kind of drawing a blank as to what I'm referring to, as the first battle of Manassas is being pushed back and then looked up on the ridge, and there's a guy who was moving the whole position, was standing there like a blank stone wall, and then he was killed. We've been hit with 15 major hurricanes, five major fires, trees, flat flowers. The Queen Myrtle here is originally from Japan. We're on the same latitude on as Tokyo. We don't have yards in Charleston. We got kicked out of Charleston. We sent back to England. And we tried to smuggle in the Catalans and negotiate them fighting on the side of the ridge. You can smuggle a lot of things into Charleston, but the two entourages of Indian tribes, when they know full you see this house of Lena? And yeah, the state by, by and large just leans to the house. It is. The rights. Now what if I told you in the city where the Civil War began, that federal courthouse planted the seeds of desegregation. So there were 200 Charleston ladies. There's the Charleston fireproof building on the corner of Washington Park. There's the, the iconic cobblestone street. Is a building called Ryan statement to make, I know. Uh, before I explain it, see that half circle grave there? Made out of brick? 1695, that's the oldest head, oldest head stone in, in the city. There's over, what's that? So they don't know the name. Okay, well, I hope you have enjoyed our carriage tour in Charleston, South Carolina. If you did, be sure to give me a big old thumbs up. Be sure to share this video with your family and friends. But until next time, y'all have a good day.